there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, y'all. By the intro alone, you should know who I am. But just in case you forgot, it's Mr. Warmax in the fucking building again. And I'm going to give you another uh, one of my diatribes, as you would say. And I'm gonna talk about something where I got, where I see this and I got a few of these little quotes in my inboxes. Yeah, follow me on these two. Uh, if you know my personal, well, you should know me on my, yeah, I mean, uh, like Facebook, but you should know my personal name by now. It ain't, it ain't like it's a secret, but uh, I'm gonna talk about something I see lately, especially if you talk about this. And I've, I've got, I just got this uh, the other day in one of my Facebook groups. And it's the old familiar, well, you're making white people look bad. Exact quote. Now what happened was, I was in one of my groups, and this wasn't directed towards me this time, but it was directed towards another person. One person put up one of them, you know, the trifling ass videos where you see two black people, usually it's black people, but you know, you'll see them in Hispanic, so don't listen to fake like they don't happen. White people do it too, listen to what I mean. It's not like it doesn't happen, but I'm more concerned with black people by nature because I want everybody to do well. So I want everybody to do well, but there's a kindred spirit on black people you would fucking think. But uh, or so they say. But uh, I saw this video. And it was the usual coonery where they were duking it out, and uh, and this guy was like made a nice comment. He was talking about the buffoonery, coonery, basically, and you know this needs to stop. Well, mainly you had people, some people agree with them. And then came, I, I heard capes flapping in the wind. I heard all these capes flapping. You know how it was, it sounds like when, when, it's rain, when it's windy outside and the flag's blown in the wind, you can hear it. I see, I heard about a hundred of those capes from these old super hoes flew in, immediately trying to rescue black people. Talking about, well, you're, look, you're making black people look bad. And you shouldn't post this up. This makes black people look bad. Now, mind you, there's, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of women in this group taking, pic, taking pictures of their ass who are not models. They're not getting paid to do it. There are thousands of women in this group who probably have a twerk video. There are thousands of dudes in this in this room, in this group, flashing weed, guns, and drugs in the same picture with them smiling not knowing you just did the DA's work for them because that's a federal offense. They want to fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you. Not knowing that there are guys in this group who are, who are just trying to get pussy and run, not knowing there are chicks on Section 8 thinking that they're some all-star queens on Facebook. But talking about the problem is making the black community look bad. You let all that stuff slide just so for the sake of sake of you getting some pussy. Now here's the problem with these Captain Saber hoes. Now, like, what kills me is you see this behavior, but you can't comment on it. Because, oh, you're making black people look bad. I can't comment on it, but this continue to happen. Go to, go to like, I said, me and other, you, my, other YouTubers and myself, I've seen these, it's not, it's, well to you guys it's a phenomenon, because you act like you never seen this before. There's a phenomenon of males, lately it's been young males, asking for change outside the, at the Arab joints. Corner stores, wherever you want to call them, bodegas, whatever. And I'm like, where's your sense of pride? Or the newest rage, hey, let me use your phone, mine ran out. Cause you fucking listen to it like an iPod. It's not an iPod. It's an iPhone, bro. You ain't getting my fucking phone. It's the little fuck fuck shit that black people are doing. You can't check them on because you got all these. Like I said, go out. Next time you see a win, a, 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 ba, a big wind day, a bad day of where it's blowing, wind, listen to that flag blowing, and that's the sound of all these fucking super hoes with their capes flying in the wind, going to rescue black people. They do not want you to talk about the problem. You want to know why they won't talk to you about the problem? 
Because that's how they get their shtick on. Because if you don't talk about a problem, you won't recognize the problem. If you don't recognize the problem, you won't try to fix the problem. If you don't try to fix the problem, then they lose out on their their their, their shtick. They lose out on their, their payday. Look what happened in Chicago. When Al Sharpton came out with his buck to you know, boat jangling ass dancing, you know, doing the old Texas two-step, uh, well, it's because of guns in the neighborhood. The people in Chicago, in that room, finally had enough for him and his little teeth and eyes night show, where they finally stood up and said something. How, how is it any more of making the black community look bad of us talking about these issues that are happening in the black community that you guys seem not to want to choose to fix, and we're trying to fix, How's it any bad then? Let's, 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 I'll give you another example of the coonery and buffoonery that's prevalent, prevailing and prevalent in the black community. Well, I'll use a shooting, I'll use shootings for an I'll, I'll use two stories. Say a young man or young girl gets shot. What happens when this happens? Think about it for a minute. What usually happens? Hold on a minute. Hello? There. That's it. That's him.